seem like just about everything needs to be smaller these days? Maybe we should even make our chalkboard smaller. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Nowhere is this more true than in our design lives. But in some cases, our need to shrink has come at a cost. Sometimes it's power density, sometimes it's the ease of design, and sometimes they just cost more. But in today's Chalk Talk, we're talking about how smaller packages can actually provide better thermal performance, frequency response, and lower cost. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. There is a mega trend throughout electronic engineering that is pushing us toward smaller and smaller components and printed circuit boards. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Tom Wolf from Nexperia and I explore the benefits of a smaller package size for the SOT23. We investigate how new package sizes for this SMD can lower your bomb, decrease your board space, and more. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this subject from Nexperia. Hi, Tom. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Amelia. Good to see you again. Excellent. Okay, so we're talking about the future of SOT23 today. But in order to talk about the future, we also need to look at the past, right? Many years in the past. Is that right, Tom? That is correct, yeah. Matter of fact, in the year 1969, engineering took a gigantic leap for mankind and changed the face of technology for decades. Does anybody remember what that event was? Uh, the moon landing? No, well, yeah, oh yeah, that happened too. No, the SOT23 package was invented by a team from Philips and IBM. It was really would change the entire face of the semiconductor industry, even up till today. <laughs> so does this mean that the venerable SOT23 is going obsolete? Is this the end after more than 50 years? Oh my goodness, no. That is not what we're trying to say here. The SOT23 package is not going away at all. It's been in continuous production since 1969, and in fact, we calculate that more than a trillion devices have been made between Nexperia and other suppliers, and we're still ramping. That means that each year, more SOT23 products are made than the year before. The reason we want to talk about it is that there are some new packages evolving which have some wonderful benefits above the SOT23, and it's time to start looking into the future to see when should you make the transition and what will those values be. Okay, so why should we look at making these SOT23 packages smaller than they are now? Smaller is always the trend in this industry. And believe it or not, smaller has huge number advantages, particularly for the SOT23 package. And those values are, it's better thermals. Think about it, there's less plastic around it. It's a smaller package and that plastic is an insulator. So the heat can get out better. That's great from a design point of view. You get better frequency response. It's smaller, there's less metal, there's le less inductance and less capacitance in it. So you can actually run these parts faster. Potentially it has a lower cost because ultimately a part cost, based on the amount of material that goes into it, if there's less material, it can ultimately cost less to manufacture a smaller package. And then the real benefit for our customers, of course, is that it takes less board space. You can put more electronic devices inside your new widget, whatever your new product is. So it really benefits everybody to go to a smaller package. So, Tom, I always thought you needed a bigger package for bigger power, but you're telling me the opposite is true? How can that be? Exactly. The reason why this works is because we're using the same silicon inside the existing SOT23 and the new packages. The only difference is the package itself. It's the amount of, like I said, plastic, the amount of insulation wrapped around it. Just like you on a winter day, if you have a heavy coat, the heat can't get out of your body to make you cold. It's the same way for an electronic device. So as you move from a SOT23, which is relatively large by standards, down to like the DFN 1412, which is a 1.4 by 1.2 millimeter package, or all the way down to the 1110 package, the same silicon is inside, but the insulation around it, the amount of material the heat has to pass through, 
gets smaller. And we actually can measure that with the, uh, the, the thermal resistance of the package itself. If you look at the numbers between a SOT23 and the 1412 or the 1110, it has about half the thermal resistance. In other words, you can put more power through the same piece of silicon and it won't overheat, so the heat gets out of it. So going to a smaller package is kind of counterintuitive. You would think big package for big power. No, in this case, smaller package means more power because the heat can get out of it easier. That makes sense that a smaller package can dissipate heat better, but how can it make the circuit faster at the same time? It's a lot of the same things. Again, as the package gets smaller, the amount of metal, the lead frame inside the package, gets correspondingly smaller as well, too. Well, any piece of metal has some capacitive value and some inductive value. As I get those smaller and smaller, the frequency response goes up. In fact, we actually did a test. We built one board which could hold either a SOT23 or a DFN 1110. Same electrical piece of silicon, only the package changed. Circuit board was exactly the same. And the frequency response of the device, again, same silicon in a different package, got considerably faster because that inductance, that capacitance was gone, the part could just oscillate faster. It could clock quicker, even though the silicon was exactly the same part inside. So, yep, smaller actually means you can run the part faster, too. Now, this is really something that designers can identify with for sure. A smaller package means that their entire product can be smaller, right? Exactly, and that's the real benefit to the customer. Let's face it, everything is getting more sophisticated trying to pack more electronics into a given space or make it a smaller device. Look at your cell phone, look at your smart watches, look at the cameras that are on the back of a car, for example. There's not much space there. So the smaller package you can put in, both the SOT23 and, of course, all the other packages in the circuit, the, more, the smaller you can make them, the more you can pack into that amount of space. So the direct benefit to the end customer is smaller package means more intelligence in a given amount of space inside their product. It's a benefit for both of us. Sure. Now, is there anything a designer can do today to get ready for these new smaller packages? And that's exactly the point. What we want to do is use the same silicon in a brand new package just by changing the footprint on it. So what we're recommending today is look at your SOT23 footprint on your existing printed circuit board. Underneath it is this dead space. There's a white space between those three pins and the SOT23. Well, guess what? The 1412 and the 1110 are small enough they can actually fit in that dead space underneath the SOT23. So what are we recommending? We have customers now that are doing a dual footprint design. They're designing with the SOT23 that they already have, and in that dead space, laying out for the future capability of a 1412 or an 1110 in that same footprint. You can use either part. And let's face it, in today's world of availability, isn't it nice to be able to have more than one solution for your printed circuit board? Can't get SOT23s for your board? Well, you can get the exact same silicon in a 1412 or an 1110, which will fit on your circuit board with no changes at all. So we're advertising it's to go ahead and get these new packages designed in now. You don't have to buy them now, but you're future-proofing your design. Excellent. Now, Tom, will these new smaller packages have any other benefits? Well, yes. When we go to these smaller type packages, you can add on other benefits. In the automotive world, there's something called AOI, Automated Optical Inspection. This means that once the part is soldered down, a camera wants to look at it and go, was it soldered correctly? For reliability, of course. Well, with all of these leadless packages with the soldering pads up under the bottom, you can't see them. They're hidden underneath the package. So in the past, you had to x-ray the package to know that it's soldered correctly. Well, we've invented something called side wettable flanks, SWF. We bring the plating of those pads under the bottom of the package up around the sides of the package and then you can actually see the solder flow. Statistically, we know that if you see solder on the outside, on the side wettable flanks, then we know that the part has been successfully soldered. So these new packages still keep the ability to optically inspect them. The SOT23, of course, was easy to inspect. The leads were right out there in the open. But now you have a leadless technology that also can be soldered that will still give you all the compatibility of your old silicon and all the benefits of a smaller package. It's an extra benefit that's available. Wow, Tom, these are some really interesting ways to look at new package technologies. It's not really replacing the SOT23, but adding a whole new list of benefits for the designer. 
And that is exactly the message. The SOT 23 is not being replaced. It will be around for a long time. Hey, maybe we'll do another seminar in 50 years that says the SOT 23 is still alive. But there's just benefits that you want to consider moving to at this point for all those reasons. You get better thermals out of it. You, get, you reduce your board space. You get better frequency response. You may even save some money on it. And in today's world, you may increase your availability. You'll be able to get something which will fit onto your printed circuit board. So start looking at it now. Start looking at these new package technologies, which will be available from next period, and they'll be industry standards. Other people will build them as well, too. Start looking at them now to gain those extra benefits for your current design and to future-proof your new work. Excellent. Well, Tom, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Nixperia. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.